Now, one of the wonderful things about using online accounting software, the availability of automatic bank feeds. But you may have come across a situation where sometimes the bank feeds fail. Either something happens at the bank, maybe your credentials have changed or security and you have to re-log in, or as in this case, the feeds just weren't coming down. And when they started again, it missed an entire week. So what we have to do is put those bank transactions back into the system without having to manually do it like we did in the good old days. And I'm going to show you how. Now, in order to do that, we need to provide QuickBooks with a QuickBooks uploadable file, which will be a CSV file. And the file needs only three columns. It needs to have a date column, a description column, and an amount column. So I need to pull this out a little bit more, but it doesn't make any difference in terms of actually importing it. So in order to get this, there are a number of ways. Number one, you can just go to your bank and download the statement or the transactions that you want in a CSV format. Sometimes all we have are the bank statements and we're not able to get hold of the person who is in charge of the bank in order to get them to download the CSV file. So what I have done is I have uploaded it to a third party piece of software which has converted the PDF into a CSV file. There are two that I use. One is called Auto Entry and recently Receipt Bank also announced that they will be able to take PDF statements and convert them to CSV files. So that's the other way of doing it. So assuming we've got that now, we've got our CSV file, let's go ahead and upload that into QuickBooks. Make sure that your transactions that you're uploading don't duplicate what's already in there. So these are the, this is a date range that I can't find or that hasn't been there. And imagine if we had to sit and type in all of those, no more. So back in the software, make sure that we're in the banking screen and we just need to go to where it says update, click the down arrow, choose file upload, and then we need to select the file that we want to upload. So we browse and I found my file, added it in there. Then I come down to where it says next on the bottom right hand in this case, select the bank account that I want to import into and it's that one there, then select next again and then the date is a column date, column description will be the same and for the amount we need to select the amount field and it's asking here, where are the amount fields shown in the CSV file? Our one had one column and it had both positive and negative numbers. It can also be mapped where you have one column with positive and the other with negative. So we choose that one and then next again. And here we see all the CSV file money in payments. And all we need to do then is if we're happy with that and those are the transactions, just click next and you see it was 288 transactions do you want to import now yes we do yay bank file successfully uploaded and just put let's go and we're done